Hey everyone, it's Paige Mayer back for another YouTube video today. I am so sorry that I missed last Thursday. I was pretty busy and just didn't really have time to film a video, but I am in Myrtle Beach for the World Am, which I'm really excited about because as you know, Myrtle Beach is one of my most favorite places. So we're at the Dunes Club today, Dunes Club, the Dunes Club, and we are on hole 13, which is a pretty difficult par five, um, just because there's so many ways that you can play this. It goes straight and then it's a very hard dog leg. The green is actually pretty much like at a 90 degree angle of, of where you are on the tee. So I wanna to talk today about creativity and when you see a hole, playing it in a way that feels most comfortable to you and which best suits your game as well. Obviously, when you look at this hole, you're like, okay, it's a shorter par five, maybe I can go for it and cut the edge of the water off and maybe get there in two or have, you know, just a short little chip shot in. The problem with that is, although that sounds really great, if you push your drive or you miss hit it slightly, you're in the water. And especially on this hole, on where the water crosses, you're going to have to drop it pretty far back. So these are things that you need to think of. And although I don't want you to think, negatively on the tee and have confidence in yourself you also need to know like what's going to happen if you do go for a risky shot and the reward might not always be worth it and so think about what is good for your game are you a long ball hitter do you like to hit the driver if you check yes on both of those and you have confidence then maybe taking it over the water is the play for you although i don't think that's definitely going to be the play Sometimes I think just laying it up short and then going over the water is a better play. So playing smarter. A lot of times I see amateur golfers go, even pros actually, go for a shot, a risky shot that maybe they shouldn't go for. And so instead of maybe getting out there with a par or even a bogey, that's where you get those big numbers, where you get the doubles and the triples and the snowmen. You don't want those. So always play smart. And I think that's how you're going to significantly lower your score with really out nothing else except just playing smart and knowing your game and knowing course management. So we're going to play it both ways. We're going to play it the safe way and we're going to play it the risky way. And we're going to see what I make on each one. So we can see um, kind of how I play. We're going to do the TP5 Taylor made golf ball. Um, obviously it has the stuff all over it. So we know this one's going to be the safe play. And then I'm playing a Tylus 95 for the risky play. So I'm going to play safe first because this is probably what I would normally do if I was playing just around a golf. Um, I've played here multiple times before and I've never gone for it and I've also have seen guys go for it and I've made birdie and they have made a double. So um, again, I think it's important to put your ego aside and you don't have to be the longest hitter and you don't have to go for shots just because you want to look cool or because you think it's going to impress people um birdies impress people a lot more so always remember that okay so um there's water on the right side and it's about 2 30 straight ahead i'm gonna hit a six iron just so i can lay it up i feel very comfortable with this club and this is a real placement shot i don't want to hit it even though the water is right i do not want to be left because i'm going to have a really far carry over the water for my second shot. So I'm gonna to try to play it as far right as I can. And I don't have enough club to get to the water. Um, that's intentional. So I'm trying to get as far right as I can. So I have a shorter shot in for my second. I pulled it slightly, but again, I had a club where I couldn't go right and I was confident with it. So I'm just in the center of the fairway. Um, this is something again, playing smart. If you're going to lay up, lay up. Don't hit a club that can go into the water. That's the reason why you're laying up. So um, have a club where you know if you hit a little bit right or a little bit long, you're still gonna be okay. So if you're laying up, remember always lay up. Okay, so now we're gonna go for the risky play. I'm going to take it over the right side and um, hopefully hit just a little bit of a draw since it's a little into the wind and I'm trying to get a little bit more power out of it. 
Uh, visually, it looks like the grass is a lot closer than it really is. So I just have to remember that and not take it as far right. This is a very tempting hole, meaning it looks visually different than how it actually is. So make sure if you're playing a hole where it looks really gettable, have a rangefinder out or shoot the actual yardage of what the carry is. Because uh, if I was on here, I would say it's about 200 and when I shot it, it was 240. So a pretty big difference there. And so now I know I need to go a little bit more left. So I'm safe. I carried the water. I didn't go as far right as I wanted to, obviously, because I just knew I didn't have that carry. Um, but both of them are safe. However, I felt more confident with the first one than I did the second one. I was kind of nervous on the second one. So I'm safe in the fairway with my layup shot. And now it comes down to strategy again. Um, when I said you need to have a range finder out, this is where it's really important, just so you know where you want to carry it and the angle that you want to take. So there is kind of a fluffy lollipop tree straight ahead and that's gonna be my line. Um, I decided to go there so I have less yardage in on my third shot. I'm going to hit a three wood just to make sure that I get it over and I feel very confident with my three wood. It's only a 170 carry over the water on that line, um, but it, there is some wind and it's in Myrtle Beach so the ball doesn't fly as far because of the humidity and I cannot reach the tree. So this is again, when I'm saying play smart, I have a club where I know, unless I completely chunk it, which is a possibility, um, I know I'll get over the water. I know I won't reach the tree. And if I go a little right or a little left, I'll still be fine. So that's when it comes into like thinking about like what, what ifs in a way, like if you do miss it, where are you gonna miss it? Because chances are you hit a perfect shot. I mean, that doesn't really happen. So you need to think about what your misses are and where you do miss them and then playing smart. If you are a longer hitter, this would be a great opportunity again to, you know, hit an iron or lay up. So like I said, if you're gonna lay up, lay up and be smart about it. The green's at 280, so obviously that's out of play. So you wanna just lay up again into a yard that feels comfortable to you. You can do this sometimes, I'll do it on the tee. It doesn't really apply on this hole but I'll look at where the pin is and that also de determines like what side of the fairway I'll wanna be on. Um, unfortunately, they're sanding the screen right now, so we will not have a third shot, well, a putt in, but um, the pin, I think, let's say the pin's on the right. I'm gonna wanna be on the left side so I have a really good angle in. I don't wanna be on the right right side and have a short-sighted, you know, or um, I don't wanna be on the right side and then be blocked out by that bunker. So always look where the pin is as well when you're deciding on where you want to hit it. That makes sense. Perfect. Again, I pulled it just slightly, um, but I picked a really good club where I would be safe no matter what, and I should have a, a safe, easy shot in for my third. So this is where my drive ended up for my going for it ball. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I have 240 in to this green. I don't think I can get it there, but we're gonna just go for it anyways, just show how kind of a lack of course management doesn't always benefit you. Uh, there's green, there's bunkers both there. Um, I don't also think I can get it to the bunkers, but we're gonna hopefully be a little short of it. Again, that's not the best play because I'm gonna have this weird kind of pitch shot off of a tight lie to this, um, you know, tucked pin. Again, this is what I'm talking about when I say look at where the pin is and that will determine what's the best shot for your third shot coming in if you can't reach the green. Um, so we're just gonna play a little hap hap Oh, haphazardly, and we're just gonna go for it.
Yeah, um, I knew I couldn't get there. I did hit a really good shot, but it's just gonna be short and a very awkward kind of yardage. Um, so we'll get up there, see what my next shot is, and then see what's the better play. For the safe um, ball, my third shot in, I have 125 to, so they're, <laughs> Fortunately or unfortunately, however way you look at it, um, the Dunes Club was so nice to let me come out here on a Monday when they were um, kind of getting the course ready. They have a tournament afternoon. So um, unfortunately, they're kind of getting the green ready, so I won't be able to putt, but um, we can just talk about the shot I'm gonna have in and the differences. So I have 125 in, which is a, a green light, let's go. Like, I feel very comfortable with that. I also put it in the perfect location for straight ahead. Like there's no bunkers in play. There's nothing else in play. It is just like green light, let's go. So I was smart in the fairway on my second shot and I said, where do I want to hit it? What's a good yard for me? Where's the pin? I thought through everything. And so now it paid off because I hit a good shot and I have a green light go for my third one in. So it's 125, I'm gonna hit a nine iron. I'm not actually gonna hit it because they are doing maintenance. So it would be just a normal nine iron, straight ahead, go shot. For my go for it ball, <laughs> I should have thought of a better way to distinguish between, oh, I should have said ball one and ball two, duh. Okay, um, ball two, the go for it ball. Um, I hit driver off the tee. I uh, was in a pretty good spot and then I hit three wood because I just didn't had no course management I just wanted to hit it as far as and far as I could so I have now a 35 yard pitch shot over a bunker off a tight lie to a tuck pin This is what I'm talking about when course management is really important. This is not a good shot to have This is a very bad shot. It's hard. It's difficult to pull off and what could happen is you could leave it short in the bunker, you could hit it long in the bunker behind the green. And so that's what I was saying, like sometimes hitting it as hard and as far as you can is not the best way to go about things. And playing a hole smart and laying up to clubs that feel good to you and shots that you're confident with, 100% all day long, that's what you should be doing. And I really think you'll see a significant drop in your scores if you just put a little bit more thought and effort into playing. Um, I know sometimes you just want to go out and have a good time and relax, but it really doesn't take that much brain effort to really think about the shot you want to hit. It takes two seconds, but just put a little bit more thought into it and think like, what's a good shot? And this also applies to shots when you're in trouble. So if you're behind a tree and there's water in front of you, or really if you're just behind a tree in general or in trouble, don't go for this miracle shot that you've never pulled off or you've never tried or you've never even done before. Go for something that is safe and easy, like a punch out. And that's, that's how you're really gonna avoid the really big numbers. And so if you can just get through with like a bogey or gosh, sometimes even double is much better than getting a triple or higher than that. So and that can really just kill your round and just really kill your whole day too because you just get so bummed out. So always play smart, think about your shots, um, hit the shots that you feel really confident with, and it's really as easy and as simple as that. So just a little bit more effort, a little bit more thought, and I know you guys will be lowering your scores if you do that. I really hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video. A little bit different talking about course management. Leave a comment down below if it's something that you like. Just like I can do more of these on how to play different holes and strategy that goes into it. And I will see you guys next Thursday for another video.